Now to continue our story. The Lone Ranger crossing the chasm hand over hand was discovered by the outlaws on the other side. They rushed forward to cut the rope and send the masked man plunging to his death. Hurry up and cut that rope. I got my knife here. I'll cut it. Look out! There's another fellow on the other side. He's shooting at us. Run for cover. Blast it. Cut that rope first. I ain't going to get drilled. Get back to the tree. You yellow coyote. If you aim to get drilled, cut it yourself. I can't do nothing alone. Then come on back with us. We'll drill him after he climbs up. I'm coming. I want no use for our risking ourselves out there in the open, boss. The other fellow would have got us for sure. Blast him. There he is. Climbing up. Blast that partner of his. We should have finished him. Now he's shooting. Look. And the other fellow's starting to climb across the roof. Come on. Get back with the trees are thicker. Even if they do get across, we get them holed up. They can't break through us. That's right. We take cover where we're safe. Then we can pick them off any time we get ready. That's good sense. Yeah, here. This is good enough. The second hombre's almost across. <laughs> That's just fine. But when they're both on this side, I got a notion they'll wish they'd stayed where it was healthy. I'll see if I can't hit one of them. You missed. Ah, it's just doggone light. If the moon would only stay out behind them clouds, I could aim better. Now they're both across. Look, look where they're going. They're running for them rocks. Pick them off. <laughs> Ah, they made it. It don't matter. We can wait them up. Well, I'll be. What's wrong, boss? Look, back by, back by the horses there. Ah, I don't see nothing. That's just it, you fool. The woman, she cleared out. Didn't nobody have sense enough to watch her? Where'd she get to? I can I can tell you. Huh? She sneaked away and circled around. And right now, she's behind them rocks with the pole cats that followed us. Leap on Well, anyway, we know where the three of them are. Now let them try and get out of that spot alive. <laughs> Mrs. Barnes. I, I will. Tell them we're in a bad place. Uh, plenty bad. We have only these rocks to protect us. We can't retreat because of that chasm. And it'd be suicide to attempt to go ahead on foot. Mm. We're badly outnumbered, and our ammunition is limited. If they wish, they can wait until our bullets are gone, then rush us. Or simply sit back and starve us out. Mm, that's right. You got a plan? If it wasn't for Mrs. Barnes, I'd suggest attacking and taking our chances. Uh. Please, please don't think of me. Do what you think is best. No, Mrs. Barnes. We'll all escape, or none of us will escape. But... That silver. Look at him, Santo. He knows we're in trouble and he wants to help. Ah, uh, him pine horse. But there's nothing he can... Him, him back up? He's going to try to jump across. He'll never make it, Tonto. No, Silver. Stay back. You hear me, Silver? Stay back. Him come anyhow. He's running. No horse can make a jump like that. It, it just isn't Look. possible. Look. If, if he falls. Tonto, he made it. Oh. Good old fella. Here, Silver. Here, old boy. Uh, him he fine horse. I wouldn't have thought it possible last night seen it with my own eyes. Silver's the finest horse in the world, Mrs. Barnes. Aren't you, old fellow? Now what do you do? Silver's given us a chance, Kimasabi. But we'll have to act fast. Uh -huh. You think you could ride Silver through those outlaws? Uh -huh. But you not stay here. Yes, Donald, I believe it's best. Silver could carry the three of us. But I don't want to have a woman run the risk of being shot. But I told you... Wait, Mrs. Barnes. I have a plan that'll work. Get mounted, Tonto. Uh -huh. Be ready. As soon as the moon goes under a cloud again, we'll show those men something they don't expect. Search from here to the Mississippi and never find another horse that can make a jump like that one just did. Stand to one side, boss. I'll put a bullet in it. Well, uh, you put that gun down. But, boss. You drill that horse and I'll drill you. That's the finest horse flesh I ever seen. I'm saving it for myself. Huh? You heard me, didn't you? You mean you're going to take that horse? You just bet I am. When we finish them two fellas and a woman off, I'm going to have me a real horse. Well, I can't blame you none for wanting it. If you're set on shooting something, Lefty, try to draw a bead on them two-footed critters. It's getting too dark again to see, good boss. The clouds are beginning to cover up the moon. Well, we'll get them in the morning, anyhow. Uh -huh. And then we'll see them. They're making a break for it. Drill them. Come on, fellas. He's coming right at me. Watch out. It's a redskin. He's alone. He'll trample it. Out of my way. Get him up. Silver. He got through. I'll fix him. You can't hit nothing going at that speed. You blasted doggone fool. You let my horse get away. He wants your horse. Just as good as my horse. Horse. Huh? Where's the other two? The first fella to climb across the rope and the woman. Why didn't they ride out? Hmm, that's funny. Maybe they were shot and we never knew it. My gosh, I bet they was. They wouldn't have stayed behind if they wasn't. We'll go see. Come on, fellas. Keep your guns handy, and if you're fired at, take the cover. You just bet we will. And if you sight them first, shoot the kill. Funny they don't do something. Careful. Maybe it's just a trick. They're gone. No. If you don't believe me, look for yourself. Well, of all the... Now, what could have happened to them? I got it. Huh? Look at where they was, boss. 
They could have crawled from here back to that rope without our seeing them. Well, what about it? Just look at the rope. Rope? No. You see what happened, boss? He tried to carry the woman back across, and the rope broke with a double weight. Yes, so. They probably figured the engine would draw our fire while they was getting away. But they never made it. That means they're all smashed to pieces on them rocks below. They must be. <laughs> Good enough. That's two of them accounted for. And the engine, he don't matter. Nobody around here would believe anything a redskin said anyhow. Just the same, I wish he hadn't got away. Well, it couldn't be helped. Let's get to our horses. We still got to meet Joe and tell him how we come out. Oh, come on, boys. Red Purvis and his followers mounted and rode to the cabin where they agreed to meet Joe Barnes. When they arrived, they found Joe waiting for them. You double-crossing polecats. Get in here. I've been waiting to say a few things to you fellas. Now, look here. We've done the best we could, Joe. Yeah? Well, first off, you let the young get away from you. I told you to clean out the whole family. But I told Shut you... Shut up and we... listen. And on top of that, you figured on disobeying orders. When I told you to forget about the cash Pete had hid away, I meant it. There were no harm in trying to make the woman talk, was there? Where is she now? Shuck, she's done for it, Joe. Right now, she smashed up on them rocks back in the hills. You sure of that? Well, yeah, I... So he ain't, eh? She must be, Joe. Anyhow, we'll make sure in the morning. I'll send Squint back to have a look. Sure. And how about the kid? You know why I wanted them all killed. Pete had the richest spread around these parts. But as long as there's just one of his family living, I can't claim it. The reason we didn't get him, Joe, is the fellas was riding towards the ranch house. We had to run for it. But we can still fix him somehow. Never Joe. mind that. I'll take care of him. Yeah? He's at my house in town right now. I know what I'm going to do. But if everything works out all right, it won't be the fault of you, fellas. You made more mistakes tonight than I made in my whole life. <laughs> Good work, Tonto, but you've been in the saddle for hours. You've had to ride around the gap to get your horse, then back again to us. Time you returned to camp and rest. No, Tonto not tired. Me here, outlaw scheme. You did? Huh? Me follow him to old cabin. Tonto tell you when we ride. Me want help get outlaw. Yep. Very well, then. Keep us happy. Yep, you come, Mrs. Barnes. All right? Yes, sir. Come on, Get him up, Scout. got to believe me, Sheriff. Gosh, I don't see no reason why you'd lie to me. But it still don't seem possible. I'll prove everything I've said. And Pete's wife is outside there? She is. Well, where's Joe Barnes? Why, just about a half an hour ago, I seen him ride by going towards his place. A half hour ago? Then there's no time to waste, Sheriff. Dave's life is in danger this very minute. You tired yet, Davy? Uh, I don't want to sleep, Uncle Joe. I just can't sleep. Sure, I savvy how you feel. But I got something here that'll make you rest. Then tomorrow you can get up again and give us some help in finding your maw. What's that drink, Dirk Gibson? It's what I said would help you get to sleep. There. It's all ready and it won't harm you might. Do I have to drink it? <laughs> Shucks, I know what's best for you and what ain't. Now you drink this down, and in no time at all, you'll be dozing off. <laughs> yes, sir, you'll be ready for a good, long sleep. Give me it, Uncle Joe. Sure. Now you just take it. What the? What? Why, it's the same mess, fella. Come on in, Cheryl. I'm right with you, stranger. What's the meaning of this? Give you... me that. Here, let go of that glass. I got you covered, Joe. You do like the mask fella tells you. Now, look I'll here. I'll take I... it. Now, what's in this glass? It's nothing, mister. Just something Uncle Joe was fixing so as I'd be able to go to bed and sleep. Is that all it is, Joe? Why, why sure. What else would it be? And I think you need it worse than Dave does. Let's see you drink it. But, but I don't need drink it. Drink it anyhow. No, I won't. 
Sheriff, what's right he got to say that I got to do anything? I told you once to do like he says, Joe, and I want fooling. But wait, listen, I... Hold him. Uh, hold him, and we'll pour it down his throat. Uh, don't do that. Oh, no, you, you can't do that to me. Drink. Get away, let me alone. Drink. drink it. Sheriff, stop him. They're trying to bind me. You can't let him do this. Bind you, eh? Well, you got it coming. Go ahead, stranger. No, no, please, let me go. I, I think that's enough evidence, Sheriff. He's admitted that he was going to poison the boy. Poison me? Yes, Dave. There's nothing to worry about now. <laughs> How'd you know I... Donna heard you telling your plans to your friends at the cabin, Joe. He, he couldn't have. Red didn't tell you about the Indian who escaped him. And he didn't know that when Tonto rode away, Mrs. Barnes and I took advantage of your friend's confusion to hide ourselves in a tree. We'd fixed the rope to make it look as though we'd fallen to the rocks at the bottom of the cliff. They're fools. And Red and his men went to the cabin to meet you. Tonto followed them to see what they would do. Then he met me afterwards and told me your plans. Blasted Redskin. And right at this minute, Joe, I got all my deputies headed for that same cabin. And you and your outlaw friends can talk it over in jail together. Jail? Mm-hmm. And that'll be for just a short while before you're hung. But, but what happened to my ma? Didn't the masked men find her? <laughs> Shucks, Davy. We've been saving that for the last. Suppose you take a walk to the door and see if maybe she ain't outside on the porch. I wouldn't say for sure. I ain't one to make statements I gotta tie to. But it wouldn't surprise me none if that's where you'd find her. Come on, Silver, old fellow. We're heading for the Indian country in the hills. Hi, old Silver. How are The story you have just heard is a copyrighted feature of The Lone Ranger Incorporated.